Okay, hello everyone. This is my 8th gen SI and I just wanted to do a quick review of the Mishimoto short ram intake. I've had this intake on my car for about almost a year actually. It was one of the first things that I put onto the car when I got it. And for the price, I think it's pretty good. Um, but if you're really trying to push power, then it's, it's better off you just save your money and buy, um, like the hybrid racing cold air intake or the Skunk 2 cold air intake. Um, originally, the short rams are supposed to go back here, um, next to the header, which I ran it like that for a few months, but then I realized that if you just relocate your battery down there onto the subframe and you just get like one of these radiator hoses you just need to get one new one that's a little bit longer and you'll actually be able to do that for about like ten dollars and then you'll be able to rotate your intake so that it's sucking air next to the headlight which is way better than sucking it in next to the header um after i did that i did notice a pretty pretty decent improvement in power or like consistent power at least because once your intake would get heat soaked then you're kind of losing some power but when it's down here and it's sucking in somewhat cold air um you'll be better off like that and i also have the p2r um throttle body spacer which does make it a little bit louder um but sound wise if you if you really want a loud vtech you want um good induction noise then um most of the short ram intakes would do good but this one does excellent um as soon as i put it on you know it's a bunch of smiles every time you hit vtech or even when you're at the lower rpms and you're pressing on the gas you'll hear it kind of whooshing and um yeah it sounds it sounds pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i i'll put my gopro in the engine bay that way i can get some um some noises for you guys so you guys go listen to that and if it's what you're looking for and what you want to get out of a, a short ram intake then you guys know whether whether or not you should pick it up or not but yeah let's get started cabin sound test so I watched the GoPro footage from inside the engine bay 
and I did notice that there was like a bolt or something like spinning around um, but that's just I think that's an old bolt from the stock intake which now goes to absolutely nothing so that's probably why I forgot to tighten it but I did tighten it now so it's not going to be spinning anymore and I also noticed that the engine does move a lot so maybe my next mod will be um, some stronger mounts or at least the the rear mount make that one a little bit stiffer so the engine's not moving as much i also have the megan racing header and a dc sports axle back so that is the exhaust you'll be hearing but let's give the intake a little bit more. I'll do it from second gear this time. All right, and that's, that's gonna be it for the video. Um, I wish I could do I'd outside, but right now I don't have anybody with me. Neither do I have a tripod that works right now. Um, and my, I used to have a GoPro suction mount, but that fell off my car and got completely destroyed along with my other GoPro. So for now, this is going to be it. Um, I'll, later I'll make a video with the exhaust noise and give a little review of that before I switch to a three inch intake. Um, not three inch intake, sorry, a three inch cap back. And then after that, I'll be getting a tune. Right now, I have I have on data Flash Pro, but I'm just running a base map, um, waiting for my three inch so that I could actually get the most out of my tune. So yep, see you guys later.